Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we have our monthly Hero Arts kit. So this is going to be the review part, i.e. looking at what the contents of the kit are and then I will do a separate video showing you a project that I'm going to make with this, um, items which I have no idea what they are right now because I have not opened this. As always I wait for you guys. Okay so as always it comes wrapped in this uh, tissue which is really pretty. It just makes it like a bit more of a present doesn't it? And then when we open that up again as always we seem to have beautiful ribbon that comes with it. So let's put that to one side for a minute and just take a peek at what we've got in this little bag because we have a separate bag this time with some bits in. So we have some beautiful, I love them. You guys know this is sort of my colours isn't it? These beautiful aquas and stuff. I really love that. And these are like, um, like little glass droplets. So we've got a flat back and like a rounded front to them. You get an awful lot in there so I think you know if, despite the fact they are consumable they're going to last you a long time. So then we have uh, well I have to say I'm not really sure I'm assuming these are inks. This is called reactive blue water reactive sea glass and reactive sea salt. Oh, I see so it's just it that's a white ink and then those are just the two different colours but I'm assuming there's something about these. Well it doesn't really tell you what happens but it says you get some fun results, fun and unexpected results when you spray these with water. So I don't know what that'll be, I think that'll be fun to have a play and see. So that's going to be interesting because that'll be a bit of a surprise. So then those obviously are um, what I call in my categories um, when I look at kits this is what I would call a semi-permanent item because it's going to last, they're going to last a fairly long time being um, that they're inks. Okay so now to the sort of main event as it were and that's our stamps and dies. Obviously we've got this beautiful ribbon, definitely keeping that, it's such a beautiful colour. Well I keep all of them but that's just such a stunning colour, I love that. So then we have this stamp set which I'm going to get out because you really can't see it so well on there and then you've got the die set so all of these and some of these in the middle here will die cut all of these stamps plus by the look of it you've got some sort of background stamp and also a square sort of aperture or just a um, rectangle whichever you want to use it for but have it again I'll have to do a little research but let's have a look at the stamps so here is the stamps so I've brought you down a lot closer so you can see them so you've got a great octopus they have a um, I don't mean an octopus do I no I mean a jellyfish gosh my brain they've got a jellyfish um, layering stamp so that would go really well with this they have some other stamps and dies that would go really well with this kit as well and then you've got bubbles you've got sentiments a little diver look you've got uh, what the heck is that? Oh, puffer fish. <laughs> um, sharks, just keep swimming. <laughs> A little shoal of fish. Happy birthday fishes. Lots. Oh, little um, corals and seaweedy things. A crab, urchin. Oh, look, a little castle. <laughs> so you could make like a little fish tank almost, couldn't you? Of all the fish in the sea, I chose you. You are fantastic. <laughs> I would swim the seven seas to find you. Little conch shell. So there's a ton. Okay, so that's the contents of this kit. So as usual, we have a full stamp set and a very good set of dies like a big set of dies that go with that and then a few extra items as well um i did have a quick peek and this is actually meant to be like your aquarium so that's why that's shaped like that so it's um 
kind of giving you a visual of that aquarium look um, but you could I mean I was thinking immediately under under sea you know like a, a bottom of a coral reef or something because you had the diver and all of that so I think you could use it in that way as well however since I've got the aquarium die here I kind of want to use as much of this as possible and I think it would be kind of fun to make use of this die so I probably will go down that route this time so um do make sure you come back and watch the video for the project as I said I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet but I've got a little little ideas sparking off now so um to find that the easiest thing to do is to go to the link below this video if you're on youtube you'll find um a par the paragraph below it says show more click on that and then you'll find a link under corresponding blog post if you click on that and go to the blog post both the videos that are relevant you know to this month's kit will be there and you'll also have the links to the project uh to the, to the projects to the items used and also you will have loads of photos because I always do of the finished project okay so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for the project video uh, see you soon bye for now bye